from the newsroom at news.com.au. We'll start in the US. A 39-year-old rapper has been taken into custody after yesterday's horrific incident at a Christmas parade in Wisconsin. Five people were killed and 40 were injured when a car ploughed through the parade. A rapper named Math Boy Fly has been taken into custody but not yet charged. Police are looking into the possibility that the rapper was fleeing an earlier incident involving a knife when he drove through the parade. Still overseas, and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been roasted in the UK press after giving a train wreck speech to business leaders. Mr Johnson lost his place in his notes and ended up going off on a series of bizarre tangents, including talking about a Peppa Pig theme park. Hands up anybody who's been to Peppa Pig World. Not enough. I was, well, it's, it's fact, I was a bit hazy what I would find at Peppa Pig World, uh, but I loved it. And Peppa Pig World is, is very much my kind of place. Uh, it, 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 it has uh, a uh, very safe streets, uh, discipline in schools. To Travel News, Air New Zealand says it's cancelling more than 1,000 flights between Australia and New Zealand due to continued border uncertainty. The airline estimates that around 20,000 people will be affected by the cancellations, which are for flights between now and December 31. Affected customers can opt to hold their fare in credit for travel at another date or receive a refund if their ticket is eligible. Moving on, South Australia has officially reopened its border. All travellers from interstate wanting to enter SA must be fully vaccinated and apply through the government's Entry Check SA website. Nearly 30,000 people have been approved so far to enter from New South Wales, Victoria and the ACT. To showbiz, Eddie Redmayne has said that he regrets his 2015 movie The Danish Girl. The film tells the true story of one of the first people in history to have gender reassignment surgery. Critics said that a trans person should have played the lead role, with Redmayne saying in a new interview that even though he made the film with the best intentions, he now considers it a mistake. And finally, in TV news, former AFL star Nick Rewalt was crowned the winner of Celebrity MasterChef last night. He beat out Colette Dinnigan and Gordon Ramsay's daughter Tilly in the finale. Follow or subscribe to From the Newsroom wherever you get your podcasts.